I am wondering... Yeah, it's just a black rectangle. T terrible, huh? Wait, wait. Is, is Minifig conflicting with my stream? Come on, I always do this time. Nine o'clock. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did a quick restart. Does that modify the... Is the camera visible in the stream now? Fixed. Oh, this, this, the, the, I know what it is then. So when the overlay is visible, then it's taking input from the thing. Okay. So, uh, great. So what do you guys, <laughs> you should hop on, on our Google Hangout. No, you know what? I don't have the get bandwidth. That is the problem. I talked with the company today, AT&T, and they basically tell me, that no, you can only get 1.5 megabits. Um, 1.5 megabits upstream. If I want three megabits, I'm not gonna do. I can't do Skype. I'm sorry. I, I've I I would need to hook that up to my DJ mixer and everything. So I'm just gonna hang off in this. I can't get on the Google Hangout. I don't have the bandwidth. I can try, but I won't. It won't be audible. That's the thing. It'll take over the camera. I'm working with limited controls here. Unfortunately, I'm I'm really apologetic. Good evening. How are you? So <laughs> So I'm just trying to figure out it's not walking fast enough. I know it's not walking fast enough. Um have you you know, have you seen the physics engine? And it's not on the moon. Yeah, I know. Actually the one is still on the moon. Look, if we go back, we probably have it at the tracking station. You live near me? Where do you live? Land is at the moon. Carnival pigs bat, where are you? Where where, where do you live this Whoa! Great! Oh uh, shoot. Oh wow, that was not what I expected to have happen. But thankfully, the moon is forgiving as to such things. Let's try... Oh, nope. Wait a second. The whole thing is broken now. The walking commands are broken. Woohoo! This is not is not the way I want it. Uh, oh, there. So apparently saving and reloading a vessel changes all its commands. So, this one is completely broken. You're in the USA. Ah, oh, which part of the USA? Okay. Yeah, I don't think... Look, everything is now rotating... ...in the wrong way. Ah! <laughs> East Coast? Oh, how is... How, you're in Montreal. You're, you're on the East Coast. Who's on the East Coast? How did you guys uh, deal with the hurricane? We've been kind of concerned. My uh, aunt's house was flooded. There, She lives in Lido Beach. Alright, as I understand, it's probably going to be flooded, given what we saw. Well, okay, so this one doesn't work. I basically made these things go faster. Let's, uh... <laughs> what I was thinking was maybe there's a way to build a more... See, see walking is not the easiest thing to build. What I thought was maybe there's a way to actually build, um, maybe some, maybe there's a way to build a a hopper or something, right? So what I was oh, and no, I didn't mean to push launch. Hold up a sign that says ten eight. What? Ten? Oh. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Let, let me let me see this. Uh, in flight, space plane higher. I was trying to build a two-legged... Yeah, I know, it doesn't work. It, 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 well, so what happened, actually, is I have speeded up these joints so they run a lot faster. And that's probably the difference, right? So it works way better on Kerbin, but it works terribly on... Um, what am I going to do? It works terribly on the the planet, on the, on the moon now. It works great on Kerbin, but terribly on the moon. So... I was trying to build... Okay, that's the that's the original walker that I built, but that's not the one I wanted. Uh, we have the breakdancer. <laughs> so, um, what I had the idea with this... 
Um, I, I'm thinking that it will make docking more... Magnetic docking will make it easier for most people, but uh, not... You know, some people will be mad about it. I don't care. Uh, I don't think the game should be too difficult. Having, you know, done a lot of... Having done a lot of really fine maneuvering... Um, <laughs> uh, having done a lot of really fine maneuvering, I don't think that docking should be made even harder. Do not call it Mars. Yes, you're absolutely right. Australia is quite warm. So what I thought with this was that I was going to... Um, I created a special mech cockpit and gave it ridiculously high torque so I can actually control it, but it's still not powerful enough to counteract the the mess that it gets into. So I can't make it run, unfortunately. I can't, I can't hold it still long enough. Even with kill rotation on, my fingers are not fast enough. I was hoping that mech Jeb would use all the torque available to it. <laughs> as long as the docking isn't too range uh, yeah well i what i saw today was was kind of dubious but i i think there's a lot of other things to work arrogant bastard ale that is the stuff yes so anyway <clears throat> what i was thinking is remember how i did a jump from the from minmus the other the earlier in the week I'm thinking I could build a catapult that would be able to throw my astronaut into space with sufficiently high velocity that we can escape. You do not ask when point one eight is coming out. Uh, that is not allowed. The That is a bannable offense, apparently, in the forum. Just kidding. So, we have the other one. It's done. When it's done. When it's done. When it's done. When it's done. Okay, that's that's not it. Okay. Let's create a new one. It come if only it were a joke. Ha. Huh. Joke, joke, joke. Um what I was anyway, what I'm trying to think is can I build a giant um catapult or something that is usable? Uh, and so what I thinking is it's kind of hard to do because you need counterweights, right? Otherwise the whole thing will move. Then I realized, if we just throw, I need some symmetry here, and I need that, that, oh, I wanted some symmetry here, that's what I said, symmetry, symmetry, tray, 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 and we throw this on here, oh, now I've also to disabled, um, I have disabled collisions to a certain extent here because I like these things to work. I think these these things should be able to hook up like this. Because it's like that and that's the way it is. There we go. Get some more of these. Okay, let's see if that works. Save launch. Drunk girl here? What? Seriously? There are ladies here? If the landed crash... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not what I was trying to do. Okay. Uh, end flight. Restart flight. Okay. So what I want to do... Greetings, comrade Scott. Get this dude out of here, and get him on the end here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, walk to the end, and jump on board. Yeah, there we go. Now, if I push the right button here, and I think it's, is it nine or a zero? We got a guess, nine or a zero. One way will ruin it, well, the other way will work great. I guess I could just save. Okay, let's see what happens. That's the wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, dear. Oh. Let's try reloading. <laughs> okay. He has got... Oh, he's standing on it again. Ready? Steady. Whoa! There we go. So we can get 30 meters with that. Oh, bang. 
So I'm wondering if I could make this big enough that I could carry it to the moon and throw astronauts off the moon. Right? And then put a parachute pack there and other stuff. Right? So I could throw them up high enough then they could fly off with their EVA suits and land back on the planet Kerbin. He survived just fine. I mean, the rocket is... The nice thing is that the rocket actually still works. I just have to be careful not to break things. Yeah, I was thinking about putting Cathane bases on, on all the, the light planets and everything. Should you... St is, wait, what, Doctor Who? Um, you know what? What episode of Doctor Who is it you're watching? I can make a decision for you there. Is it the Matt Smith episodes? And then the question is, which series? A network of... Yeah, I totally think there's a way to do this. But I think, actually... So this single long arm is not going to work. What we need is to have, like, a, a Z-shaped thing that shoots upwards faster, right? Let's try that again. One, two, three... Go! There. Oh. I think it, it gets, like, 60 meters there. It's not bad, right? Mass relay, I know. Right, so what we need to do is do these alternating, right? Rocket henge, stone henge, scissor lifts. Yeah, but scissor lifts are exactly what we're going to need, though. Scissor lifts are terrible for speed top cap because they are being run off of low power, right? Whereas in this one, well, you're, I know you're from Scotland, but that whole selling thing ain't allowed. To, because of that whole selling thing, I'm not allowed to watch Doctor Who. What? Excuse me, I've been watching Doctor Who for like 40 years, and that's good because I'm 39. What about using rocket? And we've done that before, I, I, I escaped moon. That was the other thing, was we, we could have a... That was the other thing we could put on the surface of the moon, is we could have a, a mass relay launch station that has a parachute, and then a giant rocket. So we could fire up the big rocket, jump onto it and then that would throw us away I mean, that's probably a more reliable way to do it right so let's try and get my what i want to do is build by emergency moon return system right it will be able to return a bunch of kerbins from the moon regardless freedom there you go iron <laughs> what would you do for one chance one chance to <laughs> Snowflake? No, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm not gonna go after stuff right now. What, what I'm trying to do? <laughs> this is really embarrassing. I'm trying, I'm trying to do like twenty different things at once, right? We're, we're gonna, we're gonna build this. I'm gonna build a, a vehicle that I can take to the moon, and have it launch Gerbins into space. So somehow, I need. To have this as my centerpiece, right? I know we're we're gonna have this on the side, right? So I need to balance this out somehow, right? Oh shoot! See what we need is one of these flipped upside down, and then on the other side we need a tank that exactly matches that. So this is gonna be technically gonna be an asymmetric rocket. Does anyone know if an item that weighs 0.5 uh, or 0.8 is what the thing what the thing is and then we need some sort of contraption to get the curbs up to this so ah that's what we'll do right well that's what we'll do we'll detach this and build 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 vertical because we need the guys to be able to get up there right so we'll do this, one, two, and then we're going to need some ladders that stick out over this. Ladder to get up there, ladder, so this is what's going to sit on the moon or surface, right? Exaggerated Scottish accent for all the people on the stream, right? Aye. What about, um, what about my comical German accent? Could I do a uh, Werner von Kerman? I was joking about doing uh, tutorials in the voice of Werner von Kerman. What do you think of decoration? 
Um, what? I want things that do things. Ah, why do I rotate this? <laughs> how do I rotate this darn thing? Um, no, I was, I was, <laughs> no, seriously, I was going to try and do, there was a time when I was joking about doing tutorials in the voice of uh, Verna von Kerman. I was we. Hello, I am Werner von Kerman, and I am here to teach you about the Kerbal Space Program. Now we will do the rocket science. And it was terrible, and that's why I wasn't going to do any more. You'll see if we can do the rocket science and have a lot of fun here. Uh, how, I am, I know, I'm, I've just offended, like, every single German person that's ever, um, watched this. Ever what liked me, huh? But that's okay. I mean, it's not okay. I'd prefer not to offend German people. Because... Actually, yeah, what we need to do... That Would that get him there? Uh, oh, wait, it's the moon! I don't need ladders! I'm an idiot! Will, you, will I be streaming for more than 45 minutes? Yes, I will. Okay, so actually, I don't need this ladder. I'm just going to climb up here... And then you'll jump in and then fly into space, right? So the trick is that I need to now land these on the moon in some form. So we need landing engines. Um, which we can do with good old-fashioned aerospike. Aerospike. You're my favorite. Aerospike. We need more power! No, no. Did anyone see the, the epic rap battles of uh, Doctor Who versus Doc Brown? I'm not a sell... What is this selling out business? I don't get that. I am in no way a sellout. I have never worked for a major corporation. I've always worked for the underdogs. Okay. Um, I'm going to put some landing legs in this. Oh, we need We need some... You know, this will probably be fine, actually. We need massive, unnecessary Sepatrons. That sound always sounds like a good idea, but it's not what I'm looking for right now. Okay, so we're going to put four of these around here. And... Oh, will this thing far drain upwards? I wonder if it will. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I have no idea how the fuel is going to drain in this. How do you make fuel drain the correct way? I appreciate you not putting ads in your videos. Oh, um, well, you see ads in my YouTube videos, unfortunately. Uh, the, well, or fortunately, because the money that I'm making from my YouTube is actually going to su several good causes. So, uh, I'm not advertising for, you know, stuff. Yellow pipe has arrows. It's going to go inwards. That is going to be what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. I don't know if this will ever drain. Maybe I should put a pipe like that to make it drain upwards. You know what? Let's actually see how this works. What I'm going to do is put this rocket here and see how the fuel drains. Uh, here, here. See, what I want to do is land this on the moon permanently. Right? You know what? I have I have a job and I have a family and I've just put my kids to bed. It took a really long time. It's it's unfortunately the nature of the beast. Okay, so where is this draining from? It was draining from these tanks. That makes no sense. And what tanks are draining now? It's draining from these tanks now. Can anyone figure out this drain pattern? As long as I can use up all my fuel. It drains outwards in, but I put in extra fuel tanks and stuff just to confuse things. Okay, this is going to work. The main thing is I want to get enough speed when it happens that they can jump into space. So I'm going to drop this on the surface, and then they'll fly up to this, grab a parachute. need to put the parachute... I, what do you mean I put the fuel lines on? It's flying perfectly! I don't care. Listen, this is not symmetrical. There's a command pod there and nothing on this side. This is hardly going to fly. C-O-H. City of Heroes? Uh, isn't that, like, going out of business? It no, but that's fine. This is, this is exactly what I want to do. Trust me. This is exactly what I want to do. 
Um, so I need to find the parachute thing. Where's the par? Where did we put parachutes? Regular solar panels. Protractor, which is awesome. Parachute box. Parachute box can sit here, right? So the guy climbs up here, grabs a parachute, jumps into this, and then hopefully flies home. Okay. So next, we need to build a rocket underneath this. And this shouldn't be so hard because it will just be a regular rocket. We might need to put some extra weight on this side, but we'll find that out. Okay, so this won't fire until this separates. And then these have to fire first. This is probably going to be completely uncontrollable. So DC World of Warcraft. Eve is like a cancerous infestation of magic, friendship, and spaceship. It is amazing. Eve is the most amazing MMO in many ways. And it is also the most terrible MMO in many ways. I love it so much that uh, it, it just hurts to know how great it is and yet how terrible it is at the same time. It, it has, it, because of what it is, it has taken risks that nobody else would do and pretty much demonstrated that you end up with a bunch of sociopaths. But this is a bunch of sociopaths who like each other. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I think this will be enough to lift my rocket to where it needs to go. And, 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 actually, yeah, I could probably just use, that's what I'll do, I'll put jet engines on here. Jet engines. And then they need to drain the fuel inwards. I, War, is Warhammer still online, uh, online still going, or is it just, I mean, I'm just curious about a lot of these games. Oh, darn, pardon me. Okay, I need to get... Oh, is anyone see... You want to see my beanstalk trick? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I should show you this. Okay, now we got to do this. Just minimal amount of bracing is what we need here. Just up the top. Oh, nope. You gonna do that for me? Okay, so let's just do silly Moonar. Save that. Aero Spike is ludicrously fuel efficient. Not many MMO can claim that statistic. What is it? I'm losing alarm. From, uh... Yeah, yeah. Eve is maybe not gonna grow this year, actually. Um, in terms of active users, but, okay, it's definitely going to make it to its 10th anniversary, it's going to release yet another free release in a few weeks, okay, <laughs> I like this, huh? Oh! <laughs> Look at this! Look at we're going upwards. <laughs> Not quite enough thrust to weight ratio, eh? I do kind of like that though. <laughs> Cheers! You know, I really should have put mechanical jab on this thing, right? Eh, who cares? Yours. <laughs> Uh, oh, the real-life Kerbal videos. So, did anyone guess... You know, I, did anyone saw my video? It was Mooseless, right? And people... Several people said, what the hell does Mooseless mean? And so I already referenced LESS, which is the lunar escape system that was invented by... was designed by NASA. In the event of a lander issue, they would be able to... Um, they would be able to get their astronauts off the surface of the moon, right? So that was called Lunar Escape System. It was essentially like 
a rocket-powered pogo stick where the guys would kind of stand on it and it would lean back and forward to steer it, right? Um, you know what? I should probably... I'm just realizing... Oh, let's turn the sound down on this, right? Because this is probably really loud, right? Oh, my goodness. I hope it's still there, right? Uh, Risen Flood. Is that a bit quieter? Make a launch air rocket. Well, we... So anyway, that was the lunar escape system. Now, Moose. Moose is a reference to something called Man Out of Space Easily. And that's easily, not, you know, safely or reliably or comfortably. It was easily. The idea was that if you were living on a space station, uh, you wouldn't have a Soyuz capsule to bring you home. The volume is now too quiet. Well, I could fix that a little bit. Right, there we go. Try, try to pump the volume a little bit. Um, you would not have a Soyuz ready to take you home in a moment's notice. Instead, you would have... Whoa, this is starting to flop around a bit. You would have these spacesuits, and you would have like a suitcase package that would call, be called the Moose. And if there was an event that required you to return to the surface of the Earth, then uh, what it would contain would be a foam heat shield and a parachute and a little mini solid rocket thruster which you would use to burn and deorbit yourself and then the um what do you might call it then the, the heat shield would hold you and protect you from the ravages of re-entry almost about to run out of fuel in this central stage here i should probably be way further So uh, that was what Moose was. So basically, by parachuting back from the minimus, I combined both of those. And this is where I really wished I had Mechanical Jet, because uh, I would be able to see what was going on in the chat and fly this at the same time. Okay, so we need a little more altitude. NASA originally staved by psychopathic geniuses. NASA was actually not so much psychopathic. They were they were very practical individuals. I can't hear me talk. What would you turn it down? No longer too loud. I'm confused. Um I can't hear anything. Right there. Oh my goodness, I'm losing control. I'm losing complete control. <laughs> I am. Where am I? Oh, that's the problem. I was. I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. <laughs> I. I accidentally. No, I'm gonna turn. Okay, I'm gonna turn this thing over. God darn it. Um, I clicked on the wrong window. That's why I lost control of my rocket. How do you pronounce Sizzizig? You pronounce it Sizzizig. And it's not Susie G, which I got for some reason a lot. Um, uh, egg originally came because I was trying to write the word Syzygy and use it as my username when I registered an account on mono.org, but, uh, I was an idiot and didn't know how to spell, so I ended up typing in Syzygy, which ended up being okay because it meant that nobody has ever used that name elsewhere. That was, you know, Atari, they originally wanted to call themselves Syzygy. But they couldn't get the trademark, so they called themselves Atari. Um, I couldn't spell Syzygy, so I picked up the username Syzyg, and that's actually followed me for many years. Um, so I still have a Syzyg account on mono.org. Oh, shoot! Ah! Uh, there we go. I have a Syzyg account on mono.org from... Okay, this is going to be a problem. This is not holding still. Sizzy zig. Um, okay, this is a problem. So I don't. If I use maximum thrust, then I can barely control this. What I should do. Okay. I'm trying to keep this on the center line. Problem being that if I do too much thrust, then. I can't control it because of the, the off-center masses here. It's not off-center by much, but it's off-center by just enough that it's going to mess me up and make me crash. And I'm just trying to get enough thrust to get myself into orbit. 
You're awesome. I'm super fantastic. Oh, it doesn't want to come. I'm losing altitude. Oh, this is where I want my mechanical jab to give me some control. The EVA suits are ready. You know what? Somebody needs to make an, a mod where the EVA suits are whatever color they like. Restart? No! No, no. What we're gonna do here, we are gonna fire up this rocket now. There we go. And... Let's just do that. So, there is a minor problem with this design. There's there's an other minor problems with this design. Firstly, those aero spikes will... Those aero spikes that I can't turn off. Bet the Kerbal is having fun. He doesn't look like he's having fun. Do you think he's going to land on land? He might make it to land. <laughs> oh, we get maximum thrust here. Have you ever built a cat? I have you seen my aircraft? I I built an aircraft with um, with uh, just wings and a capsule and it totally flies. You've seen my escape use system, right? I'm gonna wait until he's much faller for lot lower for EVA. Oh, I could just EVA now. There he goes. What orbit's he gonna follow? There he is. He's just floating around in ecstasy. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me now. Yes, I've tried running minimum space missions without space junk. Oh, he's 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 ragdolling. Um, a bunch of my friends went to the opera tonight, or we're gonna go to the opera. Tonight. I'm not drunk by any means yet. No, I I will sing badly regardless. The Orion propulsion system is. There was a hilarious example of. Um, you know, what if. I mean, basically, if you're going to build a large production propulsion system... Hey! Look at him! Woohoo! Oh! <laughs> Can I... I'm not drunk at all. So, okay. So we need to work on this thing. I want to put this installation on the surface of the moon, right? That beer is Arrogant Bastard Ale. Um, you, I'm not sure if you, you can see it, but it says Arrogant Bastard Ale. Okay, so we need to do some changes to this. First of all, we need more control in this upper stage. And secondly, we need to be able to drop these when the time is right. So first, um, let's temporarily pull these off so that the air spikes don't whine at me. Stick some staging decouplers on. When the asteroid comes along, try not to sneeze. I just need to go to balance this thing a little better. What what can I find? I gotta find some junk to put on this side that will weigh about the same as the capsule, right? Uh, oh, you know what I could stick on, right? There's always like an easy thing to add. I could add like a, an advanced advanced SAS. That's the I hate adding advanced SAS. I never use it, but I can totally put it on this one, right? So I guess if I stick that on this side, uh, now I need to move my ladders up a bit. Uh, I don't actually need ladders. Why am I even putting ladders? This is a lunar thing, and he he will have a jetpack. Uh, except that, you know, maybe I want to save my jetpack fuel, so I'll put ladders on there. I don't know. I'll put another ladder. I'm sorry about the singing. My friends uh, are going to the opera today to see... Oh yes, let's put mech jab on, just for sure. We'll stick this here, and we'll stick mech jab on, so that I can actually talk to you guys and see what you're saying. Let's stick mech jab here. This is looking like completely crazy, isn't it? This is the main part. Mech jab's going on here. This is the whole thing. There's no staging. We're just going to drop these once we reach the moon. Um, now we should be able to stick these back on. Okay. 
So this thing should be balanced better now. So let's see our staging. So we fire up these, then a few seconds later, I want to fire this one. So I need this here. So we want to let the engine spool up first. You know, actually it doesn't matter really. Um, but what we probably do want is the crazy, we want these to hold things in place. There, that'll be better. So we can drop those once we've spooled up enough speed. Then when we separate, right, we still fly for a little longer. And then we need this separator to fire at the same time as the two aero spikes. So that will ditch that. And then after we land, we drop the aero spikes and we fire this engine. This is the business. How can this not work for us now? What? Loving the hat. This was part of. This was actually a present for my uh, anniversary. Um, would it, you people be cool meeting me and having a beer? Um, I don't know. That's an interesting one. <laughs> um, no, fuel goes to the aerospace. We want fuel. It's okay. Trust me. Look, you know what? The only thing is, I think I'm going to add some more engines. Let's add some, some solid rocket boosters, okay? Solid rocket boosters will always make things more interesting. Let's add... So we need a bunch of decouplers. Decouplers, decouplers, what you gonna do? You're gonna decouple and drop this thing, and hopefully it won't land in poo. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll stick these in, right? Can't, I'm saying, no. <sighs> Apparently the game is not letting me pick up items. Okay, see, it, it's just telling me to launch as it is. Oh, the fuel! I see, yes. Thank you for pointing out that the decouplers do not pass fuel. That's okay, I had to go back anyway. And flight, and flight, vehicle assembly building. Oakland is practically... I work in San Francisco and I live in Oakland. Um, I'm very proud of Oakland because it is awesome. Did you know that according to the US census that there are more languages spoken within the borders of Oakland than in any... You know, I can, can I do that? I can do that. Let's just do that. This is, this is like, totally going to break the fuel lines thing. So there's more languages spoken within Oakland than any other city in the U.S. There's something like 140 languages spoken by the residents. So it's the most culturally diverse... Uh, one of the most culturally diverse cities, but it also has one of the highest murder rates. Whatever that really means. Um, not proud of it on that point, but um, we're working on it, right? We're working on the whole like education side of things. I think these need to be a little further up. There we go. Okay, so these will fire at the same time as we drop this. Okay, I think I think we might have something now. What do you think? Uh, depends what you mean by by gun. You know, define bad gun laws. <laughs> I mean seriously. A's fan or a Giants fan? Actually, I am a fan of whatever team happens to be winning. I'm happy for either of them. I'm also happy if the Red Sox win because I have a lot of family in in Boston. Um, let's, 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 nah, we're not going to use the Ascent Autopilot, but I am going to use the Surface Launcher. Okay, so let's try this. Ready? That isn't what was supposed to happen. Oh, well, let's fire this and see what happens. Woohoo! Oh, look, it, it's, it's actually self-correcting, even though it's missing mass. That is pretty impressive, huh? 
<laughs> I would not have expected that to work. <laughs> I'm not going to turn on the ASS. I've got Mech Jeb. The ASS is there in its only, in the only useful capacity, right? It is there to counteract the mass of the capsule, right? The ASS, as far as I'm concerned, just happens to weigh the same as the capsule, and that is the only reason it's on there. Not only did the solid rocket boosters decouple, I'm missing two of my external rockets. <laughs> um, I, I'm wondering, I wonder if I can land this. I wonder if this thing will land, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to go for 270. I'm going to fly over a little bit, right? Just try to get some control, and then I'm going to ditch everything. And try to see if it'll land. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I just want to make sure I'm I'm not coming down in a building. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut my power. Jettison. That's not what I intended to do. Okay, do we still have? Uh, okay. Well, let's hit the landing autopilot. Oh, it says I have too little thrust to land. Maybe if I burn some fuel, though. Uh, land... Retrograde. Oh, it fired off my rockets. Well, those didn't work either. Oh, because they were powered through that. Um, yeah. Oh, look, wait, wait, I've got a brilliant idea. No, 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 come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I was wondering if I could grab a... Pa I was hoping I could have grabbed a parachute from that, but... I guess not. Ah! Head cushion, I can't flip him upside down. Where's the rest of it? You know, if I'd really, seriously, if I'd really thought about what I was doing, I could have jumped out later on and grabbed the parachute. Okay, let's, let's look at why I lost. <laughs> Here's hoping he... No, he didn't. He didn't disappear through the ground. Okay. What happened? These things are supposed to fire at the same time as these things, right? That looks fine. Oh, but these dropped. Ugh. These need to drop um, here. Okay. That was my staging problem. <sighs> See if we can do it now. SRB is not secured. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I've only... Look how much I've had. I'm not drunk. Seriously, you wouldn't know me when I'm drunk anyway, because I don't... Um, I don't actually get particularly drunk anymore. And I'm rather indistinguishable from when I'm normal. Here we go. Yeah! Beautiful! I like that. Okay, let's just give it a bit of a turn, because you know what? I don't want to drop these um, SRBs on top of the launch pad. Call me a conventionalist, but I don't think that dropping you know, bits of hot metal from space is a good way to tell your friends thanks for building this rocket. Hopefully it'll miss. Yeah, let's... <laughs> I used to drink a whole lot, and then I found that, um... Yeah, I know! It's it's boring, but it's working! Um... Execute... I'm just gonna kinda move things over now. Why are you staying up for this stream? Man! Where in Scotland? I come from a place called Troon, which is famous for golf. As such, I have learned to hate golf with a passion. Doomer, I know I need to I need to figure out the Skype thing. So the problem is that I haven't been able to get the stream working with external Skyping, right? So I make an orbit capable rocket using only seven trains. I've ha heard that one before. I actually figured out I haven't found the magic boulder, or if I have, it's golf is like NASCAR and not a sport. NASCAR is more of a sport than golf, I'm sorry. Not that I'm a fan of NASCAR. I mean, I, I do... 
I do find it amusing how American race drivers seem to only be able to turn in one direction. What do I want? I don't really watch soccer, um, especially since I'm in the US, and they have no clue in this country about that kind of thing. I do watch... I'll watch the big games. Oh, no, Ruju, I already modified the rotation speed. I, I put it on the moon earlier with the new rotation speed, and the thing just flipped around like a breakdancing um, bug. So, it's nice. It works better on the planet uh, Kerbin, but we need to be able to dynamically adjust these things based upon what altitude I'm at, or what surface I'm on. There we go. Let's, let's just keep this firing. I don't know if I'm generating any appreciable thrust anymore. This could be a problem. We're, we're going to take this to the surface of the moon and set it up in such a way that we can shoot our Kerbals off the surface should they become stranded there. Oh man, I'm really starting to... This is not working the way I expected. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, burn your fuel and I'll drop you. Nope. Thank you. For some reason, it didn't want to burn my fuel there. I am barely gaining altitude right now. Silly Muna, rather than Duna. Muna? I seem to be missing the up part. Well, you know. We'll work on that. LOL is the runner-up to World of Tanks. What? Oh, League of Le Oh, Le I haven't played either of those. Virtual audio cable is for Skype on Twitch. Yeah, I, what I was actually looking at was accidental. Is I actually have a proper DJ mixer, because uh, I, I DJ as well. Um, and so I was actually going to try and run an external patch set up for all my stuff, but in the end it never happened because the kids didn't get to bed. Do Dota 2, I had a early beta call for, code for a long time ago. Uh, I used to DJ a lot of different nightclubs in San Francisco and Glasgow and whatever. Now I... Now I mostly DJ at school events and things like that because I've grown up a little, let's see. So I was, for example, DJing... Uh, <laughs> DJ for freedom! Yes. I, I don't want to do a DJ live stream because that will cause issues with the content ID on... Um, on Twitch, and I don't want to get the stream taken down. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, now that we've actually got some vertical velocity, there we go. Now let's see if this thing can hold its position. It's not quite holding its position. Why are you not holding your position? Still, it got into orbit. It seems to have some trouble. DJ under DJ Kerman right now. A lot of my tunes are pretty old as well. Drifting more than a little. It's supposed to be balanced. I don't get it. Why can this thing not control its spin? Okay, I just want to get fast enough that I can pick up velocity without drifting. The sooner I do this, the better. I get 90 seconds to figure this out. The boosters are not actually level. That is possibly true. There's also a lot of other possible reasons. Okay, where am I draining fuel from? I'm draining fuel from these two tanks. That doesn't seem to be correct. Oh, no, that's actually... Okay, so I'm draining fuel from this tank and this tank at the same time. ASAS won't help me. Run to the hills. Run for your life. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. Iron Maiden. Loved them as a kid. Um. Bruce Dickinson is one of the greatest gentlemen on this planet. He is a true, true individual. Not only is he a pilot. He's a world-class fencer, and he sings Iron Maiden. I mean, 
How awesome is that, right? Seriously? I don't generally like heavy metal that much anymore, but Iron Maiden are special. Really special. I mean, special forces special. <laughs> but yeah, Run to the Hills, one of the most amazing records ever. But I love the vocal, but the drums are also pretty darn good. They're just like crazy fast drums. And on the seventh gate, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't, I mean, in addition to Kerbal Space Program, I really love my rock band. I have, my rock band has like a thousand tracks in it, you know. I really like, I, I've got the pro guitar and I learned to play guitar because of rock band. So it legitimately teaches you good, you know, honest to God skills. No, no. Rock and Roll is an amazing Led Zeppelin song. Cashmere. Cashmere is one of the most epic pieces of music ever committed to vinyl. Um, yeah, Led Zepp are more than just Stairway to Heaven. When the levee breaks, that's uh, when the levee breaks is maybe perhaps a little um, a, a little insensitive given recent events in the U.S. Um, so I hope if anybody is in New York, uh, well, in fact, if anybody is in New York and you're listening to this, I am frankly dumbfounded. But and thanks, but seriously, anybody that's gone through a East Coast storm, you know, I, my, our hearts go out to you and everything. Beethoven's Ninth, I love, uh, even though it does have links with the Nazi party, because the Nazis also, you know, the Nazis were big on Beethoven's Ninth. But that didn't stop it being one of the most amazing pieces of music ever recorded. Or created, written, because Beethoven didn't really record, he just wrote it down. In fact, he did the Ninth when he was largely deaf. La, 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 la. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that it, it has risen to that because, I mean, honestly, Beethoven's Ninth is one of my more, I don't know, it's more, more of my favorite. I'm into classical. I'm into some classical, but um, generally just the good stuff. Not so much into, I like some opera, for example. We had this big discussion. I was having to explain to people the difference between operas and musicals at the office today. I don't know about modern classical except the occasional bit of movie soundtrack. Uh, oh, I've heard the whole thing. I mean, I've, I've listened to all of the works. It's great. Um, but uh, I, I tend to like... I, I, I do tend to like just the populist classical stuff. I'm not uh, an elitist. I certainly couldn't tell one performance from another. Uh, I love modern like work for for musical. Where I work, Brutal Pigeon is a company called Topsy.com. I don't know about reveal your secrets. Okay, um, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough fuel to get to the moon. I'm definitely gonna have enough fuel actually. The question is, will I run out of fuel? Um, okay. I'm going to wait for the moon to come up. Uh, what is Channel 2 News? I don't know. I don't watch TV. The The news that I watch is the BBC World Service news because the BBC World Service tends to be a little less biased. Um, so... I'm just typing in where... I don't actually work at Twitter, but Twitter is using my analysis code. Am I, American news, uh, there's a bunch of things that are wrong with American news. Uh, there's definitely the stations that are really biased, like Fox News, you know, that really have been really insulting lately for me. I, I find the way they've treated the, the whole Benghazi incident to be really offensive. Uh, as as someone who knew Sean, I'm I'm really mad at them. But you know, they're playing politics. I understand they're playing politics. Um, what else? I mean, and and then you get stuff that's biased in both directions. Honestly, 
Fox News is less accurate than anything. Fox News is basically there to make money. And they're specifically there to make money in the most meta way possible. They, Rupert Murdoch makes more money if taxes in the US are friendly to his interests. So they promote his interests. That's really how it goes. News, you know. Fox isn't news. Well, anyway, let's, you know, let's not get go there because maybe there are people that actually you know maybe there are people here that uh, are are conservatives and there's there's legitimate reasons to be conservative in some reasons so i'm not going to diss on them too much i'm going to diss on fox news because fox news does fabricate a lot of stuff the onion i love i've loved always you know um, I used to love it when they had the print edition. We used to get the print edition all the time. And that contained... That would have all the best stories, basically. I, I'm serious. No. Um, I, I remember uh, during election 2008, there was a guy in my corporation on EVE Online who was just like, America is dying. They are voting for a black man for president. And, like, when that... Finally, when he said the whole black man thing, we kicked his ass out of the corporation. We didn't care about his kill record. We were really offended by... He was, like, terrified about the fact that, you know, gay marriage was going to be legalized and things like that. He, he was just very deeply Christian, and that hurt him too much. And then he was racist. So, there are people that play- there's certainly a lot of gamers who have legitimate, you know, they've, they've come from that background, and I'm not gonna attack them as being irrelevant. Um, okay, so, now where is the sun? The sun's there, so if I drop it onto- well, actually, we want it on the back side of the moon, because we want it to shoot upwards like that. So, what I need to do- oh man, this is so hard to see. Okay. Oh, 2.8 kilometers. Is that going to kill me or not? We'll find out when I get closer. Oh, like, listen, seriously, Obama is not a liberal, right? Because he is actually more conservative than Richard Nixon. That's, that's the way to look at it. And anybody that attacks Obama for being liberal is is on the wrong side of things. Seriously, can we stop talking about politics, actually? Because I don't want to offend anyone. Um, Nixon was a crook, etc., etc., etc. 2.8 kilometers could be too low. Or, or it could be very entertaining. Um, maybe we get some cool shadows as we fly across the surface. So what else can we talk about? Yeah, we were talking about classical music. Um... So, as I was saying, Matt, I was trying to explain to my friends today the difference between um, opera and musicals. Do people know the difference between a musical and an opera? You're voting Cthulhu. Let's vote for Voldemort, right? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Orbiting Kerbin. Look, there's the moon coming. Isn't that awesome? It's really cool to watch the moon coming in. Okay, well, now we're going to fall down towards the moon. Okay, let's save it there. So the difference... Does any, who knows the difference? All, opera is all singing, right? So here's the thing. The Kerbal Space Program opera would have all the dialogue as singing. So it would be like, Jeb would walk on stage and we say, I'm going to fly the rocket. I'm going to fly to the moon. I'm going to land it and I'm going to plant a flag. The musical version would be like, Jeb walks up and he talks to Bill and says, I think we're going to fly the rocket. And Bill would be, yes, fly the rocket, fly the rocket. A rocket, a rocket, we'll fly it to the moon, we'll take it to the moon, and then we'll land and put a flag there. You see, that's the difference between an opera and a musical. There is a dialogue in a musical. Um, also, there's less fat people, uh, singers, stars. I'm not drunk at all. I'm uh, exactly where I need to be. Uh, and I will, you know, should I post this to YouTube after that? <laughs> I'm happy. I, I the no, the best opera is an Italian because Italian uh, has 
most of its sounds are not consonants, right? Italian, you can actually string together some wonderful uh, phrasings and everything entirely without use, resorting to consonants. Okay, so we are going to fly around, and what I want to do... Uh, I think I might hit this. Let's surface... 1990, execute. Uh-oh, I can see where this is going. Ah! Okay, now I want to go retrograde. Do you think I'm gonna make it over this hill? <laughs> I think I didn't actually need to do that. I don't know. The... I'm totally, of course, I'm going to run out of fuel. That's the other problem. I'm going to get this thing down on the surface, but it'll have no fuel left. Okay, so we now want to burn retrograde. Uh, so we want to burn retrograde, but we only want to use one third thrust. Um, you know, what is my vessel information? What's my... Oh, my thrust to weight ratio is like 10 to 1, so I barely need anything here. Okay, so I need to get my apoapsis. Actually, you know what I need to do is orbital operations. Circularize. Let's just ask it to circularize. Let's see what it does. Let's just abort this. <laughs> Red retrograde. Let, let's get the thing relatively circular before it. Yeah, oh, I should have put a fuel transfer thingy on it. Do wait a second. Did you know you can get drunk off Beirut? <laughs> Do the landing part of the opera. <laughs> we are burning to circularize the orbit so we can land where we want. We're slowing our orbit with chemical reactions. Chemical reactions and burning and slowing us down. I heard of Kurt J. Mack and apparently, apparently despite saying I love Flobathon in this morning's video, people thought I was attacking him. Uh, I'm really sorry if people were offended. Oh, I've actually totally overshot this. I need to circularize myself. Yeah, I, I, I know, I, the video this morning was, I got more dislikes on that video than I usually get. And apparently people thought I was attacking Kurt, and I don't get that, because what I think the main thing I said was, he does a lot of walking on his voyage to the Farlands, which I find kind of cool, and I can't talk like Kurt, I can't just like, you know make up silly songs and talk and play Minecraft and do it interestingly. Uh, okay, so that's us. Now, where are we going? Uh, shoot, shoot, okay. So we want to actually pick our landing spot. Landing autopilot. Oh yes, save it now. La select target. I'm going to put a target right there. Land at target! Okay. Uh, we're going to the moon! No more politics. Seriously? Ness and Dorma, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's seriously. No, look. Look at look at my election.twitter.com. I've been to Sonoma all the time because they make wine there. And guess what? I like alcohol. Um, Sonoma, Napa, Mendocino... Uh, I just dropped a, a box from my thing. Why is this not... I'm trailing it to land. It's moving to the deorbit burn point. Okay. This could take a while. California is pretty darn awesome in a lot of ways. But yes, the government is somewhat dysfunctional. Um, the taxes are higher than anywhere else in the US. The maneuver, new maneuver node system, by the way really does look awesome, and I'm really glad to see it. Um, California, though, it has great coastal weather. It has it has perfect gun laws. Seriously, you can get whatever you like, Murdoch. Just 
chill out about the guns. Most of my friends were cool with it, right? If you want to go out and kill somebody, you can get the gun you need to do it. That is the only gun law you need. A USS Enterprise. That would be interesting. I think I need to do it. Uh, actually, Cal California is getting rid of the death penalty by the looks of things. Schwarzenegger was interesting as a governor. Um, serious. Oh, you you're 11? Nature calls. What time is it where you are? Shouldn't you be asleep? <laughs> I, I, can I say, who's the youngest person in the channel? Um, so the thing about Mech Jab is that it actually lets me talk to you guys while Mech Jab is doing something and potentially crashing it for me. Holy moly, 10? Who's 10? You know, I just put my daughter to bed and she's seven. All right, it means I can't swear. <laughs> okay, who's the oldest? You've been 21 for over a decade. <laughs> Guys, seriously. Well, I suppose I better start making this educational. Do you want me to start explaining about um, orbital mechanics? I don't know why I'm asking. I just, you know, I'm just curious. Uh, birds and bees. No, like, it just, just, listen, if there's anybody underage, we should not be talking about anything related to the birds and bees, because I think that's explicitly against Twitch, right? I, just blow up stuff. I'm trying to, I'm asking Mech Jeb to land me, and he's deciding he wants to go all the way around the moon. Googleplex! This is KSP.171. Uh, in fact, I was using it last week accidentally and people noticed, but I think I got away with it. Um, I, I haven't got banned from the testers group. Okay, let's see if this thing will, will land for me. It's not sure what way it's going to point. You hear death threats at school? I'm a fan of Alice. You know... Alice Cooper, I have a bunch of respect for, but I, I there's only a couple of his tunes I really think stand up. You're 15 and in college. Okay, astrophysics. So, okay. I, I don't have a way. What I need is a pad to draw. What is the current amount of blood in your alcohol system? Um, It's actually probably pretty normal. I've only drunk, like, one of these and a couple of glasses of wine. Um, Railgun Spoon, I, I am not allowed to comment on whether there is any versions available for testing at this time. The game, we don't know how long it's take. <laughs> Explain Euler's identity. Yeah, right. Um, look, pardon me. I'm just trying to put this off to the side. Okay, so V squared is equal to GM. Oh, no, uppercase GM. I'm just going to write out an equation here. Okay. So, this is the most important equation for a lot of you guys to know, right? This is your velocity in an orbit, right? This is what explains the Oberth effect, right? So what R is, R is the distance that you are from the, the center of the body at this time. Mech Jeb is wasting my fuel. Do I care? Right? And A is the semi-major axis, right? Semi-major axis, you know what the semi-major axis is? It is the distance from you, the average distance from the planet, or from the, from the spacecraft to the center of the body, right? So. Is this thing going to land for me? It just seems to be doing a very terrible job at it, but hey. I'm just going to make sure I have enough fuel. I get fuel in there. I get f you know what? When I land, Scott, make a nuke. <laughs> oh, distant. Yeah, let's let's not get into that stuff either. Have I played Orbit? 
I, you know, I played Orbiter for like five minutes and then I, I flew the space shuttle into the ground and it bounced. And then at that point I decided it was not a legit simulator, right? Um. Oh, look! I have a perfect thing here. Now all I need is a pen. Ah. I was hoping... Oh, look! Look what I have found! I have found a chart. So, you know what people keep asking, right, is how do you transfer from one orbit to another, right? So you've got two bodies moving in two orbits, right? R1 and R2, right? Body one, body two, right? Here is the universe, right? as far as you're concerned. See this? So what we have is two two orbits, a smaller one and a larger one, right? So you have distance one and distance two. And the question is, if you start here, you want to burn into an external orbit, an elliptical orbit, which will arrive here, well, at the same time as this body is here and it has to go all the way around to here. So the question is, where should this body be, right? This is the Hoffman, the Hoffman transfer orbit. And this is a very old construct, right? Too small, you cannot see. It... <laughs> I'm just trying to explain it, right? So, the thing about orbits is the period depends upon a to the power 3 over 2, right? So, a is the x semi-major axis. Why am I teaching you things? I don't know. This thing's almost landing, right? Um, the semi-major axis is the average of your periapse and your apoapse, right? Relative to the center of the body. So if you're starting in, say, a 100 kilometer orbit above Kerbin, and you want to go to a... F uh, no, no, wait a second. <laughs> you don't need this. You've landed on the moon. Okay, let's talk about transferring to Duna, right? So I think Kerbin is at one third three six hundred, and Duna is like twenty seven fifty, right? So these are the numbers for the planets. So if you want to work out the distance, that means the transfer orbit. The transfer orbit is a is thirteen six hundred plus 2750 divided by 2, which is equal to some number. Answer the question such that... For... Melon Wood, are you asking us to do your homework? Go to Gilly now. Oh, look, we're on the surface. Yay! So now Fentup can um, be my base station for future things. So what we should do is save this. Let's just see how well this works. The only thing is... Um, okay. Uh, 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 okay. So we don't have very much fuel left. <laughs> Scott is... He can land without looking. Oh, come on. Math is awesome. So... Now I think about it, I wish I'd jettisoned this. Explain how kerbals reproduce. They're grass. They reproduce from seeds. I've made an orbital cannon. The thing is, now I need to put another guy there, right? Should I cheat? Oh! Oh, wow! I should have put a Keithan thing on there. Make an ion cannon. Oh, come on. So here's the problem, there's nobody actually on the moon now to use this. And furthermore, it's put it in the wrong position. Hmm. Okay, well listen. The first thing what we're going to do is dump those stages. There. I like the way these think the aerospikes just ends in one. No, I haven't. I haven't heard of that. I'm going to save this. Right, now. Let's just let's just do this as an example. Right, I've saved it, so I'm gonna EVA and 
Oh. Hopefully. Okay, I gotta fly around here. Oh, darn. It doesn't have much fuel, does it? Okay. Let's reload. Apple is not crap. Let's seriously, let's let's not get into Apple Wars. iPad Mini, sure I don't have one. Uh, oh no, F no. Let's reload. Can Mech Jeb? So I realized that what I should have done is detach this cockpit because once he's left the thing, I should. I have Max. I like my Max. I have an iPhone and I have an iPad and I have an iBook, uh, MacBook Pro actually. Okay, let's just fire this for a second. EVA. Uh, let's just see, see if I can do this. Okay, got myself a parachute. There we go. Let's see how high we go. That's a pretty good good way. So, I mean, if I guess I just fire upwards, I can continue on my path. Now, what I need to do, actually, is I need to find out where the planet Kerbin is. That's it. And I need to go that way. There we go. I just want to see if this return will work. Uh, apparently, I'm firing the wrong way. Okay. I need to be firing backwards instead. This is me just simulating what will happen. Because what I need to do is get sufficient velocity that I will actually escape the planet and return to the planet Kerbin, which is not a foregone conclusion by any means. But I'm going to reload after this. Uh, Max are actually, I will say that Max have far better build quality than any PC I've ever bought. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, you know, Max have a lot of, there's a lot of good reasons to use the Max. What's the best science field to go in today? You know, honestly, um, so a lot of people say computer science is like the place to go because there's a lot of money, a lot of people needing computer programmers. I, however, say that if you're really into computer science, you should just learn it on your own because you can learn everything you need to know about programming computers without actually taking a degree in them. Uh, I did a degree in astronomy and physics, and then I did another degree in astronomy. And then you know, using my experience as a programmer, because I'd always, I'd always been programming since I was like eight years old. Using that, I, I continued to work and, and, you know, programmed a few things. I programmed something called Icecast, which was an internet radio thing. And ultimately, I got a job in San Francisco. And, and you know, I think, I think basically my, the breadth of my experience worked very much in my favor. I really want to be homeless because I'm doing... No, I didn't write Icecast. I wrote something called MP3Serve, which ultimately became the co a very early part of uh, Icecast. And then a long time later, people, you know, took Icecast and made it actually good. For a long time, I was writing Icecast as... Uh, no, sorry, Live Ice. Oh, yeah, there we go. Long time I was writing at Live Ice. Can I teach us how to script? Um, learn Pearl. Pearl is awesome. I'm I'm not going for orbit. I'm going for a return to. I'm going for escape. Can you walk on lava? No, I can't walk on lava. Can you walk on Blumange? Maybe if it's not hot. I have no idea. Police. I have no idea about aerospace engineering. I'm sorry. Uh, especially in the US, they have different requirements. Oh, Carnival, uh, what what episode of Doctor Who was it? Um, Kleptocat, actually, the real trick is, can you turn a sphere inside out without creating discontinuities in the, the equation? 
That is called the sphere eversion problem. And there's a really cool paper on it. XKCD. Yeah, I like XKCD. Can you make a bomb rocket? No, no but actually, so there's a specific problem in... Uh, okay, I think I've run out of fuel. Yeah, I've run out of fuel. Okay, so what I want to do is reload. I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to see if it's possible to kick somebody onto return trajectory. So, pardon me, but I'm going to use some cheats, right? Oh, where'd that cheat menu come from? Oh dear, I feel like, I feel so dirty. Um, infinite fuel. So let's fire this thing up to infinite fuel. So bring this guy out. And now we have infinite fuel. We're not going to use infinite EVA fuel because that would be cheating. So I'm going to let go. And what I need to do... Oh, oh yeah, wait, I've got these... <laughs> I've got these here, haven't I? I should probably... No, no, are you not going to come out for me? Come, show me your... Oh! There we go. I know I'm cheating, I'm feeling terrible about it. Why can't I... Oh, it's this... <laughs> there we go. That was a problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Extend. Extend. Ex... Get out of the way. Extend. Oh, let's close these down. So, I had a seizure. I'm not having a seizure. I'm doing just fine. Okay, so. Nope. Where's my dude? Oh, there he is there. Okay. I have used a f bit of my fuel there, but not that much. So what I want to see is... If I do get somebody... Do I believe in aliens? Of course I believe in aliens. But I don't believe that aliens have ever come here. Scott, it had angels involved in spaceship catacomb. And a forest. Wait a second. Angels? Wait. Oh! Oh! Can't that... Can't... That's the one... Um, that's the season... That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, that's the one where Amy uh, is being taken over, right? And they're counting down. That is, that is a brilliant episode. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, there we go. Can I get, get a parachute? Okay, so now he's got a parachute. He just needs to jump into this. Ready? That was not what I intended to have happen. Okay. So, oh wow, he's like, he is, he's totally shot off to escape to velocity. So what happens? Wait a s- Yeah, this is totally returning to Earth! This is totally gonna work! No, Earth! Earth? What is that myth? What, what is his velocity then? Oh, look at this, there's debris flying off, that's insane! <laughs> so... Yeah, he's traveling at 900 meters per second. <laughs> Mission successful. Um, it'd be nice if we could use it more than one. It'd be nice if we could use it more than once, eh? <laughs> so here we go. And let's just check. Do we have a par- Yeah, we got a parachute. So we're just going to fly over to uh, wherever planet Kerbin is. But I don't- I want to save it when he's still there. I'm- I'm still not- no, I'm not even remotely drunk, seriously. Not by any measure. Okay, I just bumped my thing a little there. Sing about cheats. Um... Um... A cheat? Instant replay- no, I- I can't think of a song. No, 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 uh, Felix jumped from 124- oh no, 124,000 feet. Yeah, you're right. Here he goes, falling to Earth. Let's, uh, he's gonna land in the ocean, unfortunately. So we gotta wait until- Look, he didn't use any RCS fuel at all. I literally blew him off the surface of the moon, back to the planet Kerbin. That is how awesome this is. He doesn't even need his EVA suit. 
No, I'm seriously not drunk. Right, come on. Can somebody challenge me to a highly technical Kerbal Space Program skill test so I can demonstrate that I am not, in fact, inebriated in any way? Just wait, I'm going to deploy the parachute. Now. Beautiful, huh? I said Kerbal Space Program. Touch your nose. Right? You want me to play Super Meat Boy or something? Um, I'm just the right... No, seriously, I, this, is, uh, this is quite normal, right? Uh, oh, 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 oh. They don't understand... How, so here's the thing, right? What, you, what happens first is you start to uh, become a little high, but then you start to lose motor skills. It's very... You have to seriously respect alcohol. Are you 200? I only see 140 people in the room, right? The radial style that I used... Oh, the radial style one that I used to get off of EVE is a pure Aspe staged, right? Warp core. What mod is that? That is... Uh, that is... The parachute mod. It's the EVA parachute mod. It's part of the power mod, actually. I should... No, ends in one. Forget ends in one. What I want to do... Sky's asleep. What I want to play is Artemis Bridge Simulator, right? Fly by one planet to get... Uh, Deadshot, that's really hard. There we go. We got him back. And, you know, now... He's going to swim home, right? No, because what I'm going to do is reload that save. Because I want him in... I totally want to play Artemis. I have seen Plan 9 from, art, from Outer Space so many times. <laughs> uh, I seriously, I can tell you so much about Plan 9 from Outer Space. Get to orbit using... Or well, we're going to leave him here, right? Space Center. This technically is not a fedora. Just so you know. Orbit via RCS. You think I can get into... Okay, we have... <laughs> Starcraft. Oh, you know what, um... By the way, guys, um, on good old games this weekend, the, ev the everything from EA is dirt cheap. You want to play some Millennium 2.2? Actually, I might just do that because I am going to look for it. P pardon me while I go and look for... Is it Steam or Saint? It's Saint I was playing. Saint... Oh, there. Okay. Pardon me. Gonna bring this across here. Oh. What status are we? Run. See? Millennium 2.2. You see... You do not see porn. I have no porn in this. I have all my porn on my other computer. So, this is a uh, Millennium 2.2 I was playing earlier. I now have some bases on other planets. Where we have my... My dude's doing their thing. Uh, what's he doing? He's doing that. And what have I got in space? I have people scanning asteroids. So, and I also have um, some orbital lasers because orbital lasers are the bomb. I mean, they literally are the bomb. They're a nuclear bomb with a laser attached, right? And uh, yeah, this dude still working hard by holding the button in place. So let's just skip forward so I can show you. This is... Oh, we get some more orbital lasers. Let's build another orbital laser. So, the thing about or the thing about lasers or X-ray lasers is that you can actually make them by detonating a nuclear bomb next to a suitable me lasing medium. Auto land. Do have I ever played FSX? He internet slapped me. Yeah, I want to launch. Yeah, I totally want to launch a rocket during the thunderstorm. Uh, has anyone checked out our check? Uh... I'm just telling you for the um, mission control. Nature, please stop. Okay, so he has landed. Oh. So on Leda, 
we have the dude in the wave rider and what has he got he has oh he has he has nothing okay so he's gonna pick up uranium so uranium is what you need to make the orbital lasers that make fighting combat slightly easier uh exit you know what now people are saying i'm drunk i am really starting to feel just just search for Ars Technica. What? What? Look, I can stand on one foot, right? There, I'm standing on one foot. Can you see my foot up here? I'm standing, right? That is how not drunk I am. I'm 39. Uh, I will be 40 in a moment. In a couple of a couple of months, my birthday is actually on New Year's Eve. So set course for the moon to bring its sweet supplies back home. Okay. Oh, Callisto Colony is under attack! But I have orbital lasers, so I hit this button. So there's now ten of the guys coming. Purge, and then bring the fighter up. Now let us show the epic space combat as I kill this man. Yes! Look at the amazing. That's like four, four whole polygons. You see that? Four polygons, I tell you. Oh. And this spacecraft is maybe six polygons at best. Seriously. That was <laughs> X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, yeah. Attack repulsed, and that was due to the magic of my orbital lasers. Okay, so what else? What's going on here? So we've got this running. Um, yeah, I guess we just advance time. Orbital laser production complete. More orbital lasers. Orbital lasers are like everything. Do not RTS. Moon orbit achieved. So, grazer two land. And I'm gonna unload it on the moon. This. So I, I've basically you've sk I've skipped forward a whole bunch of time because I didn't launch this dude, did I? I skipped forward a whole bunch of time from what when I previously played it. I I've scanned all these planets. So if you look, I can go to my research, and I can see the colonies. So I've researched all the places where I can now. Turn down the graphics. <laughs> oh, you with your your humorous comments and all that. Do you want me to tell jokes or something? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Uh, Grazer three has a mineable asteroid. Look, I can mine asteroids. Take it and set course for the for the moon. 22 days out. Thankfully, I can time skip. Uh, this is another one in orbit of the moon. Just tell me if too many people are leaving, right? <laughs> um, I, I really want to show you some of the cool stuff that actually happens in this game later on. Uh, loading bay. Unload. I'm Swedish. Do not approve of your joke. Okay, DM, D. Miller. I need to know, um, okay, I have an awesome joke for you, right? But I need, I need some help from the audience for this awesome joke, right? I need to know, first I need to know an amazingly hot, sexy woman, right? Someone that's famous, I need a name. Secondly, I need the name of the most amazing car that you would buy if you were a multi-billionaire. So, let me have suggestions for those things. Yeah, I somehow think Giselle. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay. Emma Watson. Okay, I'm gonna go with Emma Watson and a Tesla electric car. Right. Let me tell you this 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 amazing joke. Uh, this is orbiting the moon. Orbiting the moon. Um, set course for the asteroids. 
So, the story goes, there's this guy walking down the street in a... Well, it's normally New York, but uh, New York's flooded light right now, so let's not do New York. Let's do some other place. Oh, we got an orbital laser. And, um... So what he, uh... Sees, he's walking along, and he sees getting out of a Tesla Roadster in front of a, a giant luxury hotel. He sees an individual... Uh, he sees Emma Watson get out of this car, followed by this man. And he can't help but notice that this man that is escorting um, Emma Watson has an orange instead of a head. And so his curiosity overcomes him. And so he, he, he walks up to the person, you know, kind of brazenly says, Excuse me, sir, but uh, I can't help but notice that uh, you are getting out of a very fancy Tesla Roadster there. I quite fancy one of these myself. I hear it has amazing acceleration that will break your neck. Also, I notice that you're uh, escorting the rather luscious and beautiful Emma Watson. And uh, furthermore, um, <laughs> I notice that you have an orange for a head. I'm sure there's a story behind this. Would you kindly explain it? And so uh, the individual with the orange for the head starts, you know, responds. He looks a little taken aback that someone would approach him. But he says, well, actually, the story is quite interesting. You see, I used to work in the antiques business. And uh, one of these days, while cleaning the back of my store, I found this, uh, mad this, uh, this lamp. It was an old brass lamp. And uh, so I you know, decided that I wanted to sell it in the front of my store. And I, I cleaned it out. I cleaned it up. And as I was cleaning this lamp... You know, bang! A genie came out. Um, and he said, I am the genie of the lamp. And, uh... <laughs> I'm not drunk, seriously. I am the genie of the lamp. For freeing me from my prison, you will be awarded three wishes. Wow! Three wishes, I said. So what did you wish for? Well, said the orange-headed man. First... I wish that I was fabulously rich, and the next day, I won the lottery on a quadruple rollover. This is now my hotel, and this is my wonderful car. Wow, that's amazing, and it really worked. Yes, wishes really do work. So, then I said, so what was your second wish? Ah, well, my second wish that I was dating the most beautiful woman in the world, and the next day, Emma Watson called me up, and uh, we hit it off. And the, the wish indeed did work. And now we are we are set to be married in the, the next month or so. Wow, really? So what was your third wish? Well, my third wish was that I wished my head was an orange. So what am I doing here? Um, oh yeah, I just got to... Select file. Oh, no, 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 no. Asteroid scanning asteroids. Okay. That's the non-joke. Yeah. Don't you get it? It's an anti-joke. <laughs> it's purposely an anti-joke. That's the thing. Okay, um, Grazer is on the moon. Okay, Caracal is landing on the moon. Um, I, th I think that I'm going to lose people if I if I leave this. So I'm going to land. I'm going to skip. Let, let's, go, let's go back and do something proper. <laughs> yes, you feel cheated by me telling you that joke and not giving you a punchline. That is success. <laughs> USS Enterprise are you serious that you want to try build a USS Enterprise okay right let's try build an, an <clears throat> let's try building it here okay look you want a simple joke there's the the slightly okay so there's a simple joke is uh, what's brown and rhymes with uh, no sorry what's brown and sticky a stick Right, and the slightly non-politically correct one, but then again, I do live in Oakland. What's brown and rhymes with with a uh, snoop? Uh 
uh, uh. What's brown and rhymes with Snoop? Well, Dr. Dre, of course. And that is slightly not politically correct. And I apologize to all my friends. Um, seriously. That is... <laughs> okay. What, what, what's... <clears throat> what's Mary short for? Because she's got short legs. Okay, how do I build the, the Enterprise? I guess I can use wings. I guess let's go for the shape first and then let's try and make it flyable. Right? So we're going to start with a space plane. Oh, you know what? Ah, maybe this is what I need to do, right? Like, if I can stick... Um, I wonder if I can do this sideways. No? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. There. Okay, it's good. I, I, You notice I'm in cheating mode, right? I still get cheating mode turns on in terms of infinite fuel. Okay, so now what we need to do is... Is, 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 It's not, it's on here. Where's my structural wing? <clears throat> Attempt to go faster than C. It would take a really long time to get there. Okay. Ah, come back! Okay. I'm trying to get this. Okay. What I'm trying to do is put. I can, I can never rotate these things the way I want them to. There we go. Nope. Oh, that's mostly working. Uh -uh. What do you think of the train? I think the train is amazing. I was so happy to see that on the day that I released the walker. Which is why I was like, I have to make a pogo stick now. The pogo stick will happen. I mark, mark my words. The pogo stick... Or maybe not a pogo stick, but something like... <laughs> okay. Ah, darn. Try again. Why am I so bad at rotating things the way I want them to? <laughs> Look, we get part of an enterprise there. My favorite celestial body is, in fact, SS-433, which is a star which is putting out ridiculous amounts of energy, and nobody quite knows why. Okay, so what I need now... There's another structural wing. Structural wing. Notice I, I have turned off collisions here. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Ah, there we go. This is starting to look not entirely terrible. Oh, no, no, wait. I need I need the this, bot, this bit of hull. Yeah, that's the business. You know this isn't going to fly, right? I mean, I hope you're not... I hope you're not in any expectation this might actually fly, because the odds of that are so ridiculously remote, it's not funny. Oh, for God's sake. Get in there! I'm so glad that I'm very good at not swearing all the time, because I wouldn't like to get... <laughs> what Factor 9, Mr. Sulu? Uh, oh, 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 You can defend again. We have Jeff Bolt Goldblum in a power, his power book. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Okay, so first thing, how am I going to get this thing off the ground? Hacks! Yeah, I know there's kind of hacks because I turned them on earlier for something. Okay, there we go. Look at that. That's going to work. No, 
come on. No, you're not gonna, okay, that's not gonna work. What else can I use? Oh, I can use a structural wing, wait a second. Yeah, I can use this. Totally. Nope, that's not the one. There, look, look, look at this. Is that not gonna be amazing? Okay, actually, I'm gonna take this off and just use a structural wing. Stick these here. How can this not be amazing? I mean, should we just, just, you know what? Why don't we just stick solid rocket boosters up here? They are. And what we need is a, an arrow spike on the back here. Okay, and the next trick thing we need is, nope, nope. There, okay. We need it to take off, uh, so we need some structural support on the ground. La, 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 la. Actually, you know, I think what would be more relevant this week would be uh, a TIE fighter or something, because, uh, you know, Lucasfilm has, of course, been bought by Disney, right? So we should, you know, have a... We should relive the great moments of Star Wars or something. I could, I think I could totally build a TIE fighter that's a flying aircraft, right? Enterprise! I, I do read with sadness that uh, Enterprise was damaged during the hurricane. A TIE fighter with Mickey ears. We're all clear now. Let's blow this thing and go home. Uh, you know that this is just going to go straight forwards into the runway, right? This is not going to fly by any... Maybe we put a rocket here. Are you ready? Maximum thrust! I'm going to pull back. Yes! He survives! <laughs> yes! That was quite some success. Okay. <laughs> so, I would think that that is a sure sign that the solid rocket boosters... I hear that I'm not going to get to vote on Scottish independence because um, I'm not in Scotland. And, well, you know, I mean, fair play, I probably shouldn't because I don't live there. But, it, you know... I'm certainly interested in following it. Till uh, Scotland gets its FREEDOM! Right? I need to get that speech, right? Building an X-Wing. No, no, but I gotta finish building the, the Enterprise. If we make these long enough, maybe we can balance the load. Uh, 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 get on there! Get on there! There we go. Yeah, actually, maybe. Like, here's an idea. If I stick a, a, a jet engine there, this might almost work. Except that the thing has lost its symmetry. There we go. Stick. Okay, yeah, let's stick jet engines everywhere instead. Air jet. Jet. Like, I th why does it keep forgetting about symmetry? Because I mouse over the wrong part and it goes like, Ah, oh, you don't need symmetry anymore. You're done with symmetry. Who needs any more of that symmetry crap? Okay. Oh, I'm going to stick the avionics nose cone on, though. Because, you know what? It might help me fly straighter. What do you think? Space plane? Of course it's buggy. <laughs> okay, are we ready for this? <laughs> oh, but we have to finish this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's um let's go back. I know I can make this fly if I try. Okay, stick this here and rotate it upwards again. Let's attach some of these. 
Oh, wait, two of them. And yeah, let's attach one of these up here, right? Oh, come on. Just one, damn it. Okay, there you go. Now, what I need is for the rockets to fire first and then all the supports to drop away at the right time. Because we've got to get up some thrust first. Got to get a running start with this thing. Okay. Should I clear and proceed? I like Nerd Cubed, actually. I do enjoy his thing. I fail like this all the time. A trucking game. Is that a, a, is that a pronunciation problem? Okay. Richie! Okay, we ready? Okay, well, so much for that. Big rigs over the road racing, yeah. <laughs> Engage! You know, I think we can make a lot, some improvements here. So what, the problem is that it's going backwards, right? Which means this thrust is too much. Um, if we take that thrust away completely, it's going to go forwards, which isn't going to help. Oh, you know what I need? You know what I need that I'm missing? We should put some flaps on this. I mean, why not? I mean, how, how bad can it be? Maybe if I take that engine out and just stick it here, that'll work. Oh no, the problem was it was going backwards, so we need more thrust in this area. Ah. What should I do? I'm trying to figure out how to balance this. Yeah, let's try that. Oh wait, you know what I need? Is I'm gonna run some fuel lines. Maybe, maybe we can make this sucker fly, right? Sucker fly! And then I'm going to take some fuel lines. Nope, I said take some fuel lines from to here. Oh, wait, uh, abort. Uh, what I need to do again is rotate this. I think I should just go and build a TIE fighter. Get into orbit and a bigger saucer and I get $50. I don't need $50. I get paid $150,000 a year, seriously. I don't have the remastered TNG. I, I kind of, I've heard about it. Um, I haven't even bothered watching them on Netflix, but I kind of like to get the kids into watching Star Trek. Right now, they're really big Doctor Who fans, not Star Trek. But uh, I think that, you know, we need to do it. Oh, look at this! It's not crashing just yet! Now it's crashing! Victory! Victory! Um, you know, see, the original Doctor Who theme is actually really important. Like, I'm, as a DJ, I'm really into electronic music, and the original Doctor Who theme is really, really, really important. So, when the BBC Radiophonic Workshop started making, like, they were, they were basically created by the BBC to kind of create some, you know, music for TV shows and stuff, you know, for, you know, interesting different sounds, basically. And so they started doing the Doctor Who theme. But back then, they didn't have keyboards or synthesizers or anything. They actually, what they had was, like, electronic circuits. They would build an electronic circuit that would make one note, right? 
and then they'd have to readjust some knobs and then make another note. So what they would do is they recorded all the notes of the theme one at a time onto tape, right? And then to actually assemble the theme, they cut them to get, they cut the pieces of tape into the right lengths uh, until they got the tune that they wanted. And so the, the they would figure out, oh, this moon note is, you know, four seconds long, or, or not even, a quarter of a second long. So they would figure out how long the piece of tape would be, and that's how they would record the original Doctor Who theme. It is literally an amazing piece of work. It's originally, uh, I can't remember who originally it's credited to. Uh, Ron Grainier is originally credited to. But the person that actually made the music is called Delia Derbyshire, and she's really important in electronic music. So yeah, that's... Let's see if we can get this to fly yet. Nope. It's totally not flying anymore. Oh. That's because this one isn't firing. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Uh, no, 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 no. I like the way this bit's flying for. There we go. Okay. And uh, you know what? I got my staging messed up there. I approve of this design as well. This is my. This is my. <laughs> I'm Scott Manley, and I approve of this design. Well, let's do the TIE... The TIE Fighter seriously has a reasonable chance of working if I do it, right? Um... Oh, look, we lost it. We lost one of the engines. Okay, restart flight. Come on. Full thrust again. An al aluminium falcon. Okay, we... I, I think TIE Fighter is something I can do. Okay, let's let's let it spool up first. We ready? Ah! Hmm. I can't be president, no. <laughs> Let, let's go back. Let's try and build a TIE Fighter, right? It's okay to link stuff in chat, I'm sure, unless it's something that will offend people. Let's try and build a TIE Fighter. Evasive maneuvers, Ensign! Uh, what cockpit shall we use? We, we, you know what? I need, a, like, a, a lunar rover. I'm not English! I'm Scottish! I am... I work as a data analysis... For Twitter. I don't, work, I don't work for Twitter. I work at Topsy.com and we analyze data that is on Twitter. And if you look at this website, I'm going to type in, look at Topsy.com. That's my company. Okay. That's not my company. That's where I work. And so I analyze large amounts of data. And so we're predicting the election, and right now, if Twitter was the only people voting, then um, a certain Mr. Mormon wouldn't be winning. Okay. Oh, back again. Back again. But we don't. But that's not the case, so I'm not, you know, gonna... Nope. Nope. There we go. Two of these. That's looking kind of TIE Fighter-ish. Let's stick a jet engine on there. Let's stick a small, a basic jet engine on. Maximum thrust 100. Maybe I should stick the other one on. I think this one will work better. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Come on, get on there, you foolish thing. There. Okay. You think that's going to work? Have I? I So I love Portal, but I've never played it two-player. I would love to. I actually have to own two copies of the game. 
and I'm literally waiting for Sky to be old enough that she can play it with me, with me. My Eve username is um, secret because I don't want people contacting me with the hope that they might get to join my alliance. Here we go. Look. Nice! Needs a TIE Fighter sound, doesn't it? Oh! <laughs> okay, let's do the in-flight version. This isn't so horrible, except that it's going sideways. I, I noticed the velocity vector is 90 degrees away from the actual positioning vector. <laughs> I can't actually go in the same direction as the the velocity vector. Yeah. So the velocity vector is nice degrees away from it. Okay, let's go this way. Let's see if I can get some. Oh wait, I've been asked. Apparently, my network may have gone down. Pardon me. Uh, tell me if the network hit the picture. Protect the Death Star! You, I re you realize I still have infinite fuel turned on from uh, that little moon excursion? So, yeah, it does look at. Yeah, I'm that dude that, that was flying down the trench with, with Vader, and then when the Millennium Falcon flies out of the sun, I go, What? and smash into Vader and thereby save the universe because Vader had the he could have shot Luke but you know what that TIE fighter dude he really saved the Rebel Alliance with his inept flying this is actually like considering the velocity vector is 90 degrees away oh wait a second is this because hold on No, it is. The, the velocity vector really is 90 degrees away from where the... Whoa! <laughs> I'm thinking I might do this until... Uh, the, the tracking station? The, let's hit the tracking station. Oh, wait, no, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Yay! Victory! Victory! That deserves a toast. <laughs> Let's get him onto his back. Uh, 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 uh. There. Okay. So what else? X-Wing? Somebody wants to try an X-Wing. Alright. Let, let's see if we can do an X-Wing. Uh, okay, so let's use it. I'm going to use this one because it has... I put super high torque on it. Um, so basically what we're trying to do is a plane with X-Wings, which actually should be really easy. We might even be able to do like a legitimate plane. Um, I guess I'll just use the swept wing. I could do... Oh, but you know what? I could flip it. Uh, hold on. Nope. Alright, what we want to do... Nope, nope. Nope. What is the one that I'm... What's the button? I'm looking... There, that's the button. Uh, 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 just get this. So if the wings go backwards, does that freak out the game engine? Because it does look kind of cool, right? And then, oh, but what we really need is we need the engines to be around the outside, don't we? So what we really need is like four engines like this. Um... Yeah, this is it. We want to get it totally looking the X-Wing business. I'll just use these engines again. I'm so glad I've turned off part clipping. That solves a lot of problems. Okay, so now these things go forwards. These things go backwards. This... Hey, does this look awesome or what? 
Okay, so what next do we need? We need flaps. I'm going to put flaps on this so at least it's somewhat flyable. Or at least if it fall, flies apart, it will be... Um, I won't have the excuse. I won't come back and try to put flaps on it later. Then we're going to say... Oh, no, let's not stick those. What can I use for lasers? Does anyone have a suggestion for lasers? The wings aren't... The, the wings are totally on the engines. What are you talking about? That is cool looking. You know, we, let's put some air intakes on it as well. I mean, they don't do anything in the game, but, you know, how bad... Um, well, da, 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 da. There we go. Air intakes. Are you going to put the go on there? There we go. Air intake. Nice. Does anyone have any suggestions? Landing legs. Land you think you need landing legs. I mean, I can put landing legs on it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use them because... Oh, oh, wait, we could actually use the mechanical parts, couldn't we? Does anyone know how the hinge works? Nah, let's just try seeing if this will fly. Let's just poke it forwards. Let's just see if we, if we can get it into the air. SRB missiles... <laughs> it's not quite straight. Let's see how it happens. Oh, look! There we go! I'm not sure the wings are actually doing anything. the force look oh dear I need avionics ah I sure I need avionics L let's see if I can at least fly it down the wrong imagine the runway is the trench right <laughs> I need a joystick is what I need Oh, actually, I have a joystick. I just need to, to actually spend the time to set it up. That's not doing so terribly. Okay, now let's... Let's see if I can turn this thing around. Buzz the tower. Oh, dear, 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 dear. <laughs> um, this thing is cheating because it has super high torque as well. No! He switched off his targeting computer. <laughs> I used to know the entire script of Star Wars. I literally, I think I can do, I think I can do the entire uh, intro to Star Wars, right? Let me, let me see if I can do it from memory. It is a period of civil war. Rebel spaceships striking from the hidden base have won their first victory against the evil galactic empire. During the battle, plans to the empire's ultimate weapon, the Death Star, were stolen. Ah, oh, I forget it. By Princess Leia. Pursued by the empire's sinister agent, Princess Leia races home aboard her starship, custodian of the plans that can save her people and restore freedom to the galaxy. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna show you, I don't know, has anyone seen this thing? La, 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 la. Okay, Space Center. I have, uh, one of the books I have for my son is How to Speak Wookie. Do it with lighter parts, eh, who cares. Okay, fuel transfer pod, command pod, accept. So, somebody was talking earlier about making a space elevator. Well, it is, there is a secret trick. Let's just show you something that you may or may not know. Let's try this. So, we take um, a standard, you know, pod. And you pick it up. And we move to the top. Now, I can actually get right underneath this if I can avoid picking windows outside it. 
And I can guess where infinity will be. And infinity is somewhere up around... Uh, where shall we say? Wait a second. There. Hold on. There. That's infinity. So if I go straight up from there... I think I'm going to... Oh, no. Oh, shoot. I've lost it. Okay. Let's see how high up that is. Okay, so I only managed 666 meters. And the spacecraft instantly disintegrated. Look at this! 800 meters without even trying. Okay, let's try that a little better. The thing is, because this is off the top of the screen, I have to redo it again. There's no real way to bring it back. I don't know where it's gone now. Is that it over? Look, there it is over in the background. Is that hilarious? <laughs> okay, let's try this again. See if I can get it just right. I, I, the head trick is really hard because you have to... Um, you have to know exactly when you're entering and leaving EVA mode or whatever, or RCS mode, because you flip up the right way. So the head trick is more than simply, oh, I'm falling. Like, you can't flip yourself up down, side down, as far as I know. Okay, well, let's try this again. Okay, so push downwards, and I grab. So I want to get up really high. So you see now that it kind of goes crazy. Okay, I'm going to go there. Let's see how high up I am. There, are two kilometers! <laughs> Instantly destroyed. Hold on. Oh. There, look, two kilometers up. Let's, um... Uh, okay, hold on, resume flight. Let's bring up... Nope. Oh, the cheat window is, like, off the side of my screen. That's the problem. I accidentally dragged the cheat window off the side of my screen, so I can't bring it back. There's the, there's the tower. <laughs> People were wanting to build a space beanstalk. Bean if you get it really high up, it literally doesn't do anything. Oh, there we go! There we go! Oh man, okay. Accelerate! Pardon me, I just gotta get a little close to this so we can see how high this goes up. And the answer is a long way. I wonder if I can fly a plane over this way. Uh, space Center. Let's let's go and get a plane and fly it. Let's take my X-Wing and see what happens. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, do I have my really tiny spacecraft? No, I don't have many of my... Okay. Uh, cancer. Oh, no, I don't want that one. Breakdancer, bug, dragster. This is a different set of saves, so I don't have all my usual spacecraft. I don't have my X-Wing either. I've lost my X-Wing. No! Okay. Um, new... Let's just put this cockpit on. Accept. I'll just stick this on. So I've I, so guys, I've actually managed to lose the debug menu off the side of the screen, so I can't actually turn off the infinite fuel cheats without shutting down the game and restarting. So anything that actually involves, you know, genuine missions and stuff, you're told I can't do. Sorry about that. This is an inconvenience. It's what happens. I could instead just sing more 
fake opera. How about that? Okay, let's see if I can fly into this thing. No, the debug screen is in standard. You press Control, Shift, Control, Alt, and D, and you can access the debug screen. And it lets you do things like... Um... <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that was really bad. <laughs> I'm going to fly this rocket into space. No, I'm not going to take it into space. Um, it has too much torque. This rocket has too much torque. It's going to flip around. I can't keep control. It crashes to the ground. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can say. But maybe, maybe we can just go and play. Um, okay, let's try. Let's try one more time. I, I really, it's time. It's time for me to be getting off the air soon. Um, Nellite Kerman, what you gonna do? You're gonna fly around in this place, in this place, very fast. Oh, shoot. There it is. Look at this beanstalk. Like, isn't this awesome? <laughs> so people keep talking about building space elevators there. That's how you do it in Kerbal. Right? You can build a space elevator without any mods, without any save file editing. There's no cheating needed. You just need to uh, understand how the camera points at infinity. Now, if only I could attach a ladder to- OH YES! It totally works! I was, I was not sure whether that would actually be a real honest to god. Thing that you could touch. I am now impressed. What what is that? Space debris. Oh, this is the thing. This is the catch. Okay. And that's him. And that's him. And that's him. Okay. No, nope, I do want to end the flight. <laughs> I mean, people saw my, um, people saw my awesome dragster, right? Not my dragster, my, uh, do, 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 do. is it my dragster? Is it this one? No, this, oh yeah, this is, this is a pretty good one, but it doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know how to make, ride the launch cr clamp like a rail. Okay, that is not what I expected to have happen. I, people really like the escape system. I didn't expect that to happen though. I, I've, I've got to run out and take a look and see what is, is left of this thing over here. Pardon me, I'm going to have to use physics and find it. Okay, it's going to take me about a minute to run over there. What was weird? It was like it stopped. It is an awesome escape system, isn't it? I have not seen Star Wars the Musical. Look, this thing survived. How did that possibly survive? I have not seen... Does the Spruce Goose even exist in real life? I wasn't sure if, whether it had been broken up or... I guess it still exists. They're still there. That's kind of interesting. No, the Spruce Goose totally flew. Make a rock. I've already done a rocket with Sepatrons, look. But I figured out, actually, that to build a rocket with Sepatrons, there's a, a few tricks you can use, right? So, 
Well, okay, first thing, and let's, let's put a safe, let's put a parachute on this one, right? Seriously? Because, like, killing off the Kuromans is not cool. Regardless of what people say. It, that amount of cruelty to Kuromans is not on the cards. So... What we need is a bunch of Sepatrons. Sepatrons. We're gonna use some Sepatrons. We're gonna fire them one by one and we're gonna go into space. Sepatrons, Sepatrons, you're so badly designed. I'm gonna take you into space. And I'm hoping you don't mind. So what I realized, uh, or another thing I realized, let's say, is that you can actually strip these Sepatrons from the rig by, uh, yeah, by firing them slightly before the end of their cycle, right? Uh, Sep one. It's in the Smithsonian. I, you know what what I've learned most of my uh, Smithsonian stuff from is from uh, the Fallout 3 game. I have not yet been to DC. Okay, so I was in Pennsylvania though the other, or a few months ago. So what I want to do is start firing. Now, uh, I was hoping that, okay, that didn't work. That is not what I want to have happen. Okay, well, never mind. See, I was hoping that there's a way to... That week too. Sadly, my lucky sucks. How do you open... The debug menu is Shift, Control, Alt, and D. Western Australia. Do they still show the soap opera Neighbours in Australia? I'm curious, because I remember what I remember being on in Britain in the nineties. I remember Kylie Minogue. Drive something over to it from the SPA. Yeah, they still do. Who stood? Wait a second, I'm confused. Who? Who's? You? Dead Miles is saying what? England? No, I don't want you. you they still show neighbors? Seriously? Okay, the Sepa rocket ain't gonna work as well as I like. Okay, uh, Space Center. You can actually get quite a lot of thrust out of these things, anyway. The problem is steering. Because Sepatrons on their own don't steer particularly well. Okay, fire. Fire! Fire! Does anyone remember Knights or Ebb? They were an interesting band. Or kind of... Oh, there. So, actually, I'm going to have to be uh, calling it a night soon because I hear the wife. As wonderful as she is. Hello, honey! Just on the internets. I'm going to be saying my farewells. That Yes, well, there will be. Well, seriously, guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, Shoutouts to, uh, let's see, who wants a shout-out other than Kurt and Minifig? And, God, everybody, seriously, I've lost count of who needs a shout-out. There's so many people. I mean, there's obviously the KSP crew. There's Damien. There's Skunky. There's Jetty. There's Captain Dude. There's Maltesh. There's Abyssal Lurker, who is always the awesome. And, um, yeah. Guys, let's see, let's see if I can just get something to happen here, right? Okay, let's just do... I get a doggy in the bedroom calling for... Some assistance. Okay, we're going to launch this. 
Me, sci-fi guy, melon wood, orange guy, X-Wish, Death Eagle, Paulista with your victory. Panthers fan, Panthers, which Panthers? Oh, dear, 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 yeah, totally uncontrollable. Isn't that amazing? Ooh. Oh, wait, I fired that look, apparently. Oh, that's us, okay. Freedom! X Quebec. I hear that Quebec uh, also is the capital of the Canadian um, adult entertainment industry. Seriously. Mexican baby HD. One last song. What one last song can I possibly sing? I have no songs to sing, but next time maybe there will be uh, something for you. Seriously, I gotta go. Bye bye. Fare thee well. Fly safe.